Okay, 10 minute build time. What you need, your machine, preferably a box or a chair sitting off to the side with your laptop, iPad, phone, set up so that you can see it and follow along. You have to follow along with this. It will make it so much easier for you. Don't try this alone the first time. Settle in with me a few times as you do this. Feel free to rewatch this video to get comfortable. Um, damper setting down to a one. And remember, we will start at stroke rating 16 in minute one. We will build all the way up to a 30. I'm gonna leave my mic on so that you can also listen in and just check in with my breathing occasionally so that you can hear how I'm using my breathing to set the rate or to set the stroke rate. Okay, let's do it. This is gonna be 10 minutes of continuous rowing. Remember to catch at the same time I catch and we'll stay together the whole time. Focusing on quick, crisp drives, not forceful and just doing enough to stick with me on stroke rate. All right. Ready? Row. I'm at a 16. Getting ready to shift to 17 on this one. It's just a slight change. Just minuscule changes make the adjustment in stroke rating. Your goal is just to settle in and follow along with me. Try to feel each stroke rate. Listen to your own breathing. Getting ready to go to 18. On this one. Keep thinking about your mechanics. And back to your own breathing. Just watch me, but listen to your own breathing. Getting ready to go to 19. On this one, a little bit faster catch and drive. Remember, light drives, but quick. You're not trying to win this workout. You're trying to learn from it.
Getting ready to go to 20. On this one. This will be our last minute where we hold a single stroke rate. At the five minute mark, we're gonna to start to go up one beat every 30 seconds. I just crossed the thousand meter mark. Just give a little check to see where you are. Don't feel like you have to go harder to match it. I'm just giving you a frame of reference. Back to your breathing. Getting ready for 21. On this one. A little faster catch. All right, we're going up every 30 seconds now. Keep following my catch timing. Learn to relax your recovery, even as stroke rate goes up. And 22. Three. Notice the breathing rate change. Thinking light and crisp through the drives. Make sure you match up to my catch timing. Six. You'll notice the odd numbers are at the start of the minute. That helps you to know if you're on with us. Twenty-eight. 
29, this is our last minute. Even now I'm finding ratio, rhythm, and rhythmic breathing. Here we go, final 30 seconds. Stay with me. Keep going back to fundamentals and relaxed recoveries. There you go. Just crossed 2,500 meters. What about you? So that is your 10 minute build. You use that regularly. We love this warm up. So we use this frequently. Go and use this with your athletes. Use this as much as you can. There, it will only benefit you. Every time you do it, you will get a little bit better. When you are with your groups and your clients, as you get comfortable, you be the one that leads them. When there's somebody who knows what they're doing at the front, it goes a long ways. And as you can tell, it's much easier when you can follow somebody. So as you're helping your clients learn, and as you're helping your athletes learn, be the one that guides this, which means that you should do this 10 times with me before you take it in front of a client. Get comfortable with this and know that you can hold those stroke rates and there's no better way to test yourself than to put yourself in front of somebody to see if you can actually hold those stroke rates. It's a great way to help reinforce what you learned here. All right, guys, we will see you in the next video. Hasta luego.